man, there is nothing like the smell of new tires and new leather. Well, looks like you'll soon be mine. I thought the sign said closed, Joe. Well, I don't read too good. No, you don't do anything too good, do you? Look, I gotta talk to you, Norman, about something. Yeah, haven't you bothered me enough today? I gotta ask you something about Kelly. You're bugging me. I gotta ask your permission to see her. Why the interest all of a sudden? I just told you I want to see her. Look, Kelly's been bounced around like a beanbag. She's just getting used to us. She doesn't need to see any more strangers. Look, I'm not a stranger. Do you realize I picked up that little thing and held her? So who's the stranger? You act like I've never seen her before or held her before. You held her? Yeah. Well, isn't that carrying fatherhood to the extreme? You mean you actually picked her up and held her? Right. You think she'd recognize you? Sure she will. She know who you are. Look, baby's got instincts. She'd look at you and say, there's daddy. Well, maybe not right off the bat. I mean, after all, she's only about a inch high. You're just another face to her. Passing parade of faces. Look, she sees me so much, maybe she thinks I'm her daddy. Look, come off it, Norman. I just want to see her. A little while ago, you could have cared less. You want to know the story? I mean, you want to know what's going on inside me, Norman? Well, let me tell you. I don't like to be pushed around. I don't like to be told I got to like that girl over there or I got to buy toys for that kid over there. I don't like to be told who I got to love and what my responsibilities are. You know what I mean? I like to do things in my own time and my own way. I mean, I got my brother on my back, a social worker, at least one cop, and you and Rita. Now, that's a lot of people to carry on the average size back, isn't it? When do you want to see her? Thanks, Norman. I gotta get home. So you give me a ring, and you name the time. All right. All right. Preview from the continuing story of Peyton Place. Any relationship my father is having with anyone, illicit or otherwise, is something that you forced him into. You think there's something going on between Stephen and me, don't you? I know you don't trust Stephen, but suddenly I realized just a few moments ago that you don't trust me. Susan, you perjure yourself. But who are they going to believe? The wife of a minister or the mother of an illegitimate child whom the court has just taken away? <laughs> 